Travion Henderson, as you will see on Pat's most recent post, check it out, has been added to the Maxwell watch list. Uh, it, you know, it's a conversation we had throughout the offseason with you, Pat, in regards to how this running back situation would evolve throughout the season. And at what point would Travion Henderson take over or not take over? And of course, Master Teague, Marcus Crowley, other players being involved. We saw Marcus Crowley figure into the offense more prominently than he has uh, previously. So your thoughts about the running back distribution and where this is heading? I think it's pretty clear these last few weeks, Travion Henderson's the guy. Now, that doesn't mean Ma Master Teague, Marcus Crowley, Mayan Williams are going anywhere. We've seen these guys continue to get carries all season. But Travion Henderson has started three games in a row. Now, his carries after having, I think it was 24, 24-ish um, against Tulsa, have dropped off. He only had eight two weeks ago against Akron and eight last week against Rutgers. But against Akron, they were up very big in the first half. There was no reason to, to expend him. He'd already had two touchdowns and almost 100 rushing yards. And then against Rutgers last week, it looked like, though I, I can't tell exactly when it happened, uh, he was pulled from the game. It, it looked like the way that they were reacting to Travion Henderson on the sideline was that he got hit in the head and they were checking him for a concussion. They took his helmet away. They took him to the tent. Um, but he came out of the tent, was joking around with teammates and coaches on the sideline. Ryan Day said after the game that he was available to get, go back in after halftime, after he'd been checked, but he didn't want to take any precautions, or was taking precautions there. Again, Buckeyes up big, no reason to put Travion Henderson in the game. He'd already scored in the game and rushed for over 70 yards. So doing a lot with a little these last two weeks, but Definitely the guy. I think you'll continue to see his workload increase in games where they need him to. I do think the Buckeyes are going to be cautious about him. Ryan Day's been cautious with Henderson, whether it was not building up the hype train in the preseason or you know having him be the fourth running back on the field to start the season against uh, Minnesota on the road. They've they've worked Travion Henderson and, e and eased him in, I guess is the way to put it. And now, despite being the starting running back, they're not going to force him to have 20 carries a game. I think in games when the, the you know contest goes into the fourth quarter, you're going to see Travion Henderson touch the ball, whether it's catches or, or receptions, 20-some carries a game. And, and I think that's the number that will continue to be the benchmark. But if the Buckeyes get up big again Saturday against Maryland, I could see Travion Henderson, you know, still being in that 10-ish range, especially if he produces well like he has the last two weeks. But this is a special player. You know, you don't just make the Maxwell Award watch list as a true freshman. I believe he's the only true freshman on that list, unless you're special. Uh, he was one of 10 guys added today. You know, names like um, Bright, Bryce Young from Alabama, uh, Kenneth uh, Maxwell, or I'm sorry, Kenneth, uh, what's his name? Michigan State's running. Uh, Walker. Walker, there you go. You know, guys that are having really good seasons uh, were also added to the list. So, Trayvon Henderson's in that mix for sure. I think it makes sense to, to put him on there, whether he goes on and wins that award this year, whether he wins, you know, any of the, the major individual awards this year, we'll, we'll wait and see on that. But, you know, he's, I think fourth in the country in yards per carry 12th tied for 12th in rushing touchdowns. I mean, the kid's the real deal. I, I don't think there's any debate about that anymore. The other running backs on this team are, are, you know, complimentary to Travion Henderson right now. He can kind of do it all. And, you know, Ohio State just wants to make sure they handle a freshman appropriately. We just concluded our Buckeyes live show and a number of people commented in the live chat that Travion Henderson needs more carries so we can be vaulted into the Heisman Trophy race. Well, I would think that uh, winning a Big Ten championship and getting to a playoff would be prominent over that. So let's not get him hurt. Eight carries in a 52-13 throttling of Rutgers is just fine uh, in, in uh, not to, uh, you know, in, in exchange for increasing his uh possibility of winning a Heisman trophy by three or 4%. I don't, I don't necessarily know that that's a worth it.